So Baseball is all about mobile entertainment. Uh, we started about 10 years ago. Uh, we are today covering uh, about 10 different markets. Um, we're here today in, uh, in, in MWC to celebrate, of course, our 10 year anniversary. Um, we're also launching new lines of businesses and uh, are a very, very exciting time ahead of us. I think that uh, to a large extent things have consolidated. I think that the uh, product offers and the content has improved vastly thanks to you know faster uh, internet speeds and better handsets. Um, so we're seeing lots of improvements in, in every area. That can be an easier or difficult question. How does the market look? It's like it was 10 years ago in Europe. It is still very um, new formulated. The, the, the way that we do the transactions is very modern, but the type of content and entertainment services that are offered to the consumers are, you know, the ringtones, the wallpapers, the, the old type of content that we all grew up with at the beginning of this era. Uh, then you have the education and the banking, which is far more advanced, as I've said before in, in interviews with you. Um, uh, it, it's an evolving market, it changes on a daily basis, but the technology, it, as I say, is advanced, but the technology and how you deliver something is, is still relatively archaic, if you want to call it that. Yeah, it was very exciting to be at the larger event of our sector, especially for us. It's our 10th anniversary and we celebrate it here at Mobile World Congress, especially by sponsoring MEFConnect Mobile World Congress that we've been sponsoring, so that it's been a great event for us and also celebrating our re-election of Jens being part of MEF. So it's very exciting for us being here and celebrating all these achievements. So it's love to see ahead and we're very proud of stronger, strengthening our relationship with, with MEF. We've been coming here for, I don't know, 10, 12 years and each year is just getting bigger and bigger. Um, so, so far I'm only covering this hall in, in 8.1. Um, looking forward to see everything that's about, you know, uh, self-driving cars, uh, there's a whole bunch of IoT going on over here, which is super interesting as well. I think the biggest highlight has to be the relaunch of the Nokia 3310. We're going to a phone that was is classed as a you know uh, um, an antique, but also the a priceless piece of what, where we are in mobile technology. I think it's the only phone alongside the iPhone that could be classed in that way. It got relaunched. It's the Nokia brand back. That's making big waves. I think um, I saw something yesterday about the whole IoT. No one's 100% sure of how IoT works and what have you. China Mobile was saying 150 million transactions are going through their I IoT connections daily. Uh, so, you, you know, we've got the connected space. IoT is going to be part of that. Uh, we'll see where the future goes.